Yeah, well, I don't know if it was correct. I might not have counted them all. But if so, wow, this, this game has way more bosses than I thought. Oh, she's waking up! But she has no face. Uh oh. <sighs> Maybe they're the ones bringing me back here every time. Maybe the darkness is a good thing. Uh-oh. She is very pale right now. I mean, I know she's supposed to be dead, but... <laughs> Thy next foe is desert. Nope, the land where trees nary grow. It sleeps in... A oh, in a dry lake bed. It could be the desert. Or another lake. A rude awakening. He's like, uh, whatever. Which way are we going? We're going that way. Cool. Hey, aggro. Did you enjoy your nap while I nearly killed myself trying to take out a big lizard? <laughs> yeah. Well, Agro, you're gonna run now. He said run. Run! Run! Run, fat boy, run. There's a gorge. Agro, you can jump that! Come on! <laughs> Agro, you can jump that! <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be frank here. Agro, if you're not like a super-powered horse, then why do why do I even have you? Still another gorge. You know what? No. I'm not even going this way. That's going to lead me down a bad path. We're gonna go back this way, find a bridge, get across. I do wish the camera was better when you were riding aggro. It can never kind of can never really agree on like what's a good camera angle. They're like, oh, let's have you at like the absolute far left side of the screen. Oh, now let's have you at the absolute far right side of the screen. Now let's have you take up the whole screen. Here we go. So we'll cross this cliff. Now we'll try to find the right direction to go. Oh, see? That was the way to do it. Here we go. we go. Aggro, come on! <laughs> Stupid horse, you can't do anything right. <laughs> we gotta go that way, come on. 
Agro, I don't care if you broke all of your legs. <laughs> We're gonna go. <laughs> this is why Artie is not allowed to own a horse in real life. <laughs> oh, see? Yeah, we'll climb right here. Right into the entrance to this creepy cave. Okay, well, actually, maybe there is no entrance to that creepy cave. Oh, yeah, this is the right place. This is definitely a dried up lake bed. Agro, you almost ran me over. Take that. I didn't cut it up, I just smacked its saddle with the flat side of my sword, alright? Oh! Are we going down here? Oh wait, hang on, this is a different this is a different place than I was expecting. I think. Maybe it was? Jump! No, don't jump that way, you doofus! Bro, all you had to do was jump a little bit up, and you jumped to the left and died. That was not on me. That was not on me. I told him to jump to where he actually could land, and he's like, Jump into the gorge? You got it! Wow, you're really bad at this game. I blame aggro. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, horse? Yeah, I mean, he ain't the sharp. He's got he's got strength and endurance, but he does not have more than 5 brain cells. It's just like, "Why, well, yes, I will trust this creepy disembodied voice telling me to murder everything." Yes, I will do that. That's suspicious looking over there. Okay, aggro, that was like the weirdest place you could have gone. Man, if this is what realistic horse riding is like, then I don't want to ride horses. Guys, maybe we'll find a freaking lizard here! Actually, wait, we, maybe we've already been here. I swear the, the main character's responsiveness to your controls gets worse as the game goes on. I don't know whether I'm imagining it, or if that's an intentional part of the game. Maybe I've already been here. Actually, wait, no, I think I've already been here. Bro! Aggro! Man. Aggro is worst video game horse. Oh, uh, well. Breath of the Wild Horse is also not good. Eh. 
Arrow, don't be such a wuss. Just jump. Jump! Come on! Aggro! I will trade you for a different horse. I will. Is Aggro, like, infamous among the community for being a bad horse? Or am I, like, alone and being like, Man, Aggro sucks, and everyone's like, Oh, no, Aggro's so great! Aggro, jump! <laughs> as soon as I see another horse, bye-bye, Aggro. Like, immediately. Come on. Oh, look! It's Old Faithful! Aggro! You were supposed to get a jetpack boost off of that. Don't you even know how video game logic works? Gotta love how there's now no more sunlight, so we can't use our compass. I don't even trust us to be able to jump over that. I don't. Aggro, come on! <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> I maybe wouldn't go that far, but... But yeah, aggro's kind of useless. Yeah. Aggro's well liked. How? Yeah. <laughs> He's so yeah. bad. <laughs> like I get it. He can tra he can take you from point A to point B fast, and it would be very hard to traverse the world map without him. But doggone it, his controls are bad. Far over the misty mountains cold. Okay, we gotta go up there. Aggro? Oh, oh, actually, good job, Aggro. You saved our lives. Okay, there's a gorge here, and I'm supposed to go across. Okay, bro, I wanted you to dismount aggro from the other side, and you almost died because you refused. So this is going to be another one of those cases where it's like, oh, you should be able to easily climb this, but the main character is really stupid and thus can't. Fine. Come on, aggro. Why does it like, it's like, oh, now that you're leaving the area, it's sunny. That, I mean, that's true. There aren't a whole lot of characters in this that, like... Actually, there just aren't a lot of characters in this. It's, it's a giant world with nothing in it. My biggest complaint with Aggro, though, is why do you have to press triangle like 20 times for him to actually start moving at max speed? He also has a mind of his own, and is just like, I'm going to move to the right now. It's like, no, you're not. I don't like the Breath of the Wild horsies either, though. character really cares about aggro kicks him in the face to make him go faster. Look, look, man, I also want aggro to go faster, but... 
Jeez Louise. I hate how 90% of the world map is covered in shadow, and thus you can't use the primary method of navigation that the game wants you to use. And when you actually can use it, no matter what direction you face, it's always spread out. So you just... The main... Look at that. I have to press triangle like five times to make him start moving again. I just stepped on a chameleon. Can I get a prize for that? Yeah. I don't know. Romeo and Juliet didn't have that many characters either. Yeah. Although, hot take, Romeo and Juliet is one of Shakespeare's weakest plays. Look at this! I am mashing the move faster button, and he's just like, I am only going to move one inch a second. And there is literally nothing you can do about this. Like, this is so stupid. Move faster! I will repeatedly kick you in the face until you move faster. Oh, look! And we went back to the world, the main area. Because... Yeah. So that literally... So the compass just, like, lied to us yet again. Why do I even bother using the compass? It's not helpful anymore. Like, look at this. This rock is literally sculpted to be a path up. And he's just like, nope! Da, 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 da. Oh, look! It's the riverbed that claimed my life last time. But now he actually jumped in the way I wanted him to. Okay, here we go, finally. Hey, dude. Haven't we already fought one that looks like this? Uh oh, he's got a beeb. Ouch. Okay, he's got a tail, and it looks like his tail is climbable. No, his tail is not climbable. At least, it's not grabbable. Jump. Alright, fine. Don't jump. See if I care. Excuse me, if you would bend your uh, leg sideways a little bit. Aggro, if you want to be used as live bait, to distract him so I can climb up. That'd be pretty great.
We'll shoot his underside. Wow, um... Top tier camera! Marginally better than Pac-Man World 2, but just barely. <laughs> just barely. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, this is great. I love not being able to see where I'm going. Agro's standing there doing nothing. Great. Great. All right, clearly we're going to need a boost of some kind from maybe the terrain. This is a very steep hill here. This guy's big. Even by Colossus standards. Power of the Earth will shake even the Colossus. So maybe if we make it slam certain pieces of rock, it'll... Like these stalactites, maybe. Yeah, let's see what happens if it tries to hit these stalagmites. Okay, that's not what I was thinking you were do you were gonna do. Huh. Well he's not doing anything there. There's a lot of rock over here. Yes, thank you for your very vague tip. Hmm. Maybe he's saying something happens, like he shakes when he slams into himself? Okay, I don't want him to keep doing his stupid beam attack. Also, I don't see any, any climbable parts of him. It's like a flap on his feet. If we can grab onto the lower part of the flap. Like, I want to grab onto the lower part of that flap. Because then I can potentially stab his insides, but no, that's not working. Tail is indestructible. What if we make him like slam into rock? Because he's in dirt right now. But if he moves over to the rock part, maybe that'll change something? Yes, you keep saying that, but that's such a vague hint.
Yeah, I don't, I don't get what the point of this fight is. Like, there's nothing to climb. Nothing that he attacks is doing anything noticeable that allows me to, an advantage. And he keeps throwing me off balance with his tail. Are we, are we supposed to make these, like, stalactites fall on him? Because, again, he keeps smashing into things, but it's not actually doing anything. And I don't see any way to make him fire his I-beam attack into... into the stalagmite... Uh, stalactites. Yeah, I know. Because I'm definitely at a loss for what we're supposed to do. I can't make him, like, attack the wall. But there is something behind here. If he, if he does his beam attack. Still nothing happens. I do know that. I just don't know what that means in relative to how to beat him. are you supposed to do? I don't see any of his weak points either. Aggro being useless as always. We have to lure it out of here entirely. I don't see any scenery that could help us out. I don't even know why Agro's here. He's literally just wasting our time. I'm trying to jump up to this next part. Wait, now I can jump up here? Okay, I literally have tried this like 12 times now, but it's only on the 12th attempt that I'm actually able to do it? What the heck? Wow, bro, are you for real?
You see, and now I can't climb back up. Do I have to wait for him to move his leg at a very specific... Apparently. Apparently I died. I don't know how I died, but the game decided that's something that should happen. Alright. Well, of input delay. Actually, just, I think it's not necessarily input delay. It's literally just the jump in this game is extremely inconsistent when it actually happens relative to when you push the button. Like, sometimes it happens immediately, and sometimes it's like, I'll wait a full two seconds before I do that. so dumb. You literally just have to keep jumping up and, and pray that eventually the game will decide to let you grab it. And the grabbing in this game is also inconsistent. Actually, pretty much everything in this game is inconsistent. Uh, move, move, move. Ugh. This is annoying! Just grab it! I know you can do it! The, it's the inconsistency that is killing me. He, sometimes he can do it so easily. Bro! Recover your gauge already! I'm not grabbing anything! Or is it like only one of It's the wrong way. Move, 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 move faster, move faster, move faster. You are not moving fast enough. That was probably your best jump yet. Wow. No! I do not want to ride my freaking horse! What the heck? I said jump on the guy's leg. My horse ran under me to carry me away. What a butt. Aggro, you're going down. Aggro, worst horse. What? I absolutely could have walked up that. God, I hate the physics in this game. Or lack thereof. Uh-oh. 
How am I? Well, I haven't. I literally haven't been hit by anything. Wow, and he's not even sidestepping. <sighs> Will you jump already? How did I slide off that? <laughs> this is some real manure right here. I can get up to his shoulder blades, and then it's just like, well, now you die. Even though that should be the easiest part to get over, because it's flat! <laughs> Not to mention, it's taking... How am I losing HP? I'm not getting hit by anything! Wow, this fight sucks. Still not as bad as the horse fight, but it's definitely second. I, again, did not get hit by anything, but it's just like, you lost half your health for no reason. Did you just grab on to his freaking leg? Now the grabbing's just not working at all. So that's great. Every time I try to jump, it's just like, you can't jump. And whenever I do get to jump, it's like, nope, not high enough. But again, the geysers are so far away. And when I'm far away from him, he doesn't even follow me. He just shoots me from a distance. If they want us to use the geysers to defeat him, why don't they have the geysers in the battle arena? This is just like the dumb horse fight. You have to lure him really far away to an area to hurt him. Not to mention, it seems literally impossible to avoid damage in this fight, because you literally can just take damage from nothing. And I died from, again, nothing. I literally never took a single hit that fight, and yet it still I still died for no reason. Yeah, this fight sucks. Such a shame, because a lot of this game is really great, but then there's several parts of this game that... Aggro, move! 
We are literally being shot at. So we can't even use the geyser to, like, get on top of him? And now he's just... brushing the ground, doing absolutely nothing. Geysers don't really seem to be doing anything. I just want to point out, I literally can't jump off of this right now. The geyser's like legitimately just making it more difficult to beat this guy. Funny, I literally couldn't do this earlier, even though I, like, did the exact same... Okay. Yeah, this is not a good fight. Where's his glowing part? I still can't see where his glowing parts are. Now the geyser despawned. That's cool. Guess we gotta find a new one. Which is also really far away. I have the ideas down for the Colossi, it's just the execution often needs work. Also, again, 
don't know where his weak point is. As far as I can tell, he didn't have one. Okay, he fell down again. Like, you would think one of the spots here would be glowing, right? Come on, no, 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 no. Why, yeah, yada! Can you jump half an inch? Understand this might be asking a lot from you, but finally, here we go. Yes, die. Oh, what? You you think I care? At all? Nope. One more out to do it. You ain't shaking me off. You are not shaking me off again. Die! Stupid Earth Shaker who killed me like five times unjustly. Lurker of the cave. Well, he ain't lurking no more. Well, finally. Whew. Thanks for the... Thanks for telling me about the geysers. I would not have thought to lure him really far outside to them. That seems unintuitive to me. But there we are. <sighs> what next? Finally, we're going to the desert. Or perhaps I should say we will be going to the desert next time. Because I think I'm going to call that 
a day for this stream. Shadow of the Colossus can be fun, but I can't I can't play a whole lot of it in one sitting compared to some of my other weekend stream series. So, yeah, I, th I think I'm going to end it there. Thanks, everybody, for joining in, and thanks for your help. Uh, Y'all, it was definitely an experience. We'll be hopefully streaming this again next week, Saturday, 1 p.m., and we'll be continuing Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows on Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless everyone.